As we proceed further down into Gravesend, we come to Blue Palace. We cross the road and we come to a King's Diner. Yeah, it's like lots of different foods inside here. It's better to film early in the morning because there's not too many people around uh, looking at what you are doing. So to keep it steady, you have to uh, make sure you uh, that you make sure that you get everything to go. Over the road there, we've got a lovely uh, Catholic church. It's called uh, the Saint John's Catholic Church of Gravesend, Kent. Absolutely beautiful building. And a bit further down the bottom, over there, which I'm not going to go down to, is a really lovely um, uh, clock tower, which was uh, opened by uh, Queen uh, Victoria, I believe. History of Gravesend is very massive. Just to uh, let you know that, uh, you know, it's not every day that you get to see uh, Gravesend at any different lights, so... Obviously, many different curry houses in the Gravesend. Big uh, Sikh population. But as you get further inside, we uh, come a little bit closer to uh, different um, areas. Manor Road is very narrow in its uh, way it's been laid. We've got the dry cleaners here. Not too much action early in the morning on a Sunday, but obviously people are in bed sleeping. Uh, okay, so it's bags of rubbish there, obviously. No bin. A snack attack is another eating establishment. Uh, another piece of information about the Grey's and Kent is there was a lot of pups going back to the 40 to 45, 50 years ago, there was probably 120, maybe a bit less, pubs in Gravesend. It was probably the most densely dense public housed uh, town in the, uh, England. So, this pub here was uh, the Manor Sheets, I believe. And, uh, is closed down due to uh, I think it was due to drugs maybe I'm not sure there was a selling of the drugs inside this pub here and obviously people had to close it because of this it's a shame because it's a nice pub and uh, lots of history uh, so this this pub here this pub here on the corner, treats with the railway, uh, the railway inn. The railway inn being a very old pub, and then you got the uh, railway tavern, which was, uh, I think, it's the little one on the corner. As we go around the corners, lovely morning, blue skies, and all that. A little bit of shrubbery bush here, trees. Look at this natural space here. Obviously looking up towards the civic center, which uh, just to let you know guys, uh, the civic center is known for having uh, uh, entertainments inside the building. I think you can seat up to a thousand people. Quite a small venue, but uh, it's also council offices for paying your rent. If you rent a uh, building in the Gravesend area, I think uh, if you rent a uh, place in Gravesend, this is the place you pay the, the rent. And down here, completely new layouts for uh, 
traffic as well as the pedestrians to uh, travel uh, and for many people I think it's a good idea to be traveling down whatever so at the train station down below and as you get progressively closer down here we come to the uh, the Graves and Kent train station with the with a very um, a very interesting uh, layout uh, the one painted color uh, faces of the Gravesend station which is not uh, easily seen in the sun if they painted the words black maybe I could have seen what they say but I know what it says Gravesend is an uh, old old town as you could say it's a small city but in fact it's a town and uh, Gravesend is a, a hole I believe it can be it was beautiful at one stage in its infancy before it became uh, what it is today uh, it's a shame because if you go back in time Rogerville Gardens which is further down in towards the North Leet area uh, that was a pleasure place for the uh, Victorians obviously when they are traveling towards the Rogerville Gardens back into 1880 or something like this there was lots of paddle steamers going up the water and they would go to uh, this place and enjoy but here is uh, obviously the Gravesend train station here uh, I believe over the back there in the red brick building with the triangular topped window that's the Victoria Center which is the uh, adult learning education spot for people who want to uh, further their education maybe get a better job and disappear from where they're going to at the moment here's a bike uh, placement for anybody traveling to and from their places of work on the train it keeps their bikes safe make sure they don't get stolen I think that's why they have built this building here it's a good idea and uh, I think this is it guys goodbye and uh, enjoy the next video once it's uploaded to my uh, YouTube channel